I know, I didn't take you guys long for the process while I was putting the trim up. I'm sorry, I'll try to do better next time. Right now I'll take you around and I'll show you what the whole island looks like all trimmed out. That's just the sunspot coming in the window. We still need to paint this edge. I goofed up and painted the wrong side. No big deal. So I was just thinking about doing one big shelf. In here to put the crock pots. Then I can stand up the cookie sheets, the muffin tins, and all that good stuff. But we had our friend over, we were showing it to him, and he says, what about putting in like a slide? cabinet or drawer over there and you can hang some of your bigger pots and pans in. I like that idea. So we're going to hold off building the shelf, see what we can find to fit in there, and then we'll finish that off. This is my helper today. She doesn't look like she's got too much energy in her. Nope, she's not even moving. Now it's on to pouring the concrete countertop. We're going to put down a bunch of material on the floor so we don't have to worry about spilling any of the concrete or we're screeding it making a mess. We're going to form it in place. The countertop is five feet wide by six and a half feet long, so we're going to form the concrete countertop right in place. I'm going to make forms for it now. And then tomorrow morning, I'm going to go ahead, have a friend come over, and we're going to put the concrete on, and it'll take about 18 hours to set up. We'll take you along for that process. Better make sure that we got this good and covered. We don't want to be making a mess on the floor. Next part's gonna be a little bit different for everybody. We're using roof strip edge to give us our corners. I'm, gonna, I'm making a support for the drip edge right now. So I'm taking two by fours. We'll even them an inch and a half overhang. That's what I'm gonna have for an overhang for the drip edge. And an inch and a half this way. We're gonna put them in place, put the drip edge in place. So this is gonna be kind of a little funky process right now, but I'm going to take you along and I'm going to show you how we are doing it. I got my supports on either end of the overhang over the bar area is going to be. Now I got to mark the long section here. I have to mark where my core bells are, right here. And I can notch out this 2x4 so I can slip it in with only an inch and a half sticking out. Doesn't have to be a perfect fit. We just gotta mark them on both sides. We can notch that out, recess it, so this two by four can slide in more. With all of our notches put in place, we just gotta clamp this up. Get everything lined up. Flush up our end. Now flush up our ends with each other. I'll clamp them down. We'll put a few screws from the underside to hold it in place. We just got some regular aluminum drip edge here for roofing. It would normally go like this on the roof, and then you can start your shingles. Where you're going to use it? like this, so this is going to be the edge of the countertop. Just got to make sure that the drip edge is flush, we're done, we're put a 2 by 4 like this. Now I marked a 45 degree angle of the corner. 
Gonna cut that back. And then because we got this heavy bend, we gotta kind of snip that, otherwise it's not gonna wanna bend where we want it to. And then we wanna gently fold it over, trying not to kink it as we do. So it won't be a perfect corner, I'll show you what it looks like. There's a little dimple here and a slice here, so the concrete will be a little funky down in the corner. I'll have to put a piece of tape or something here so when we're screeding it, we don't, we're not losing concrete out there. So we'll reinforce that spot. So it's a little bit of figuring out as we go. Put the drip edges in place on this front edge. Now we've got the whole outside edge of this lined with the flashing. The corners are cut and bent. The extra pieces I spliced in the center here. Yeah. I'll show you what I'm going to do here for the joint. Back side. That's pretty much all you need to do to form up your countertop get it ready for concrete. Might have went a little bit overboard here, but I don't want concrete spilling on my floor. The floor in here is finished, hardwood. It's got an oil finish on it, so it's gonna be kind of a pain to clean if we get concrete all over it. So we re it's reinforced pretty good. The drip edge is all taped in place, holds it back. So that way when we're pouring the concrete, we don't have to worry about it flexing. So all I got left is to put the chicken wire in, in the morning, mix up the concrete. We are using the concrete countertop mix curious. So I wanted to say thanks for watching. I'll see you right back here hopefully tomorrow. We pour in the concrete. Hopefully it should all come out well. Love to know what you think. Think it's gonna work? Think you're gonna have any issues with the concrete or not pour? Let me know. Leave in the comments below. Have any other questions? Leave in the comments below. We'll see you right back here next time as we pour the concrete countertop.